Adam Lambert enthusiast. <laughs> it is not. I, I download the songs after he sings them, then I sing them in the shower. I'll do a little uh, Lambert for you right now. <laughs> That's him, all right. That's a little Lambert. He Sitting at home screaming at the television that no one liked Adam when he sang that Johnny Cash song. Well, wait, I was like, what I is wrong with you like people? Him. What I said was, that was really weird. Yes, but it weird. left me kind of happy in a strange way. He, I mean, he, where is he? Is he there? Yeah, I mean, he Skyped in just now. He surprised oh. us. Um, I love how he just shows up. Yeah. It's no, but, but seriously, I thought that he did that interpretation of that Johnny Cash song like, that's what you want is somebody t to not be karaoke, to take it and, and put a different spin right. on it. And none of y'all liked it. And, I well, was like, and that's what makes a great artist. That's true. But I think when you're on American Idol and fire is coming from behind and like eye motions like this, it's just a little bit like, woo, what yeah. show am I on? Right. How did I get here and what's going on? Yeah. You know? would, did, would I like to see that? Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. At least yeah. it. At least we're talking about it. Exactly. And that's the whole point. Exactly. That somebody's doing something that they really believe in and it's their spin. Yeah. And they're making us talk. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was really good. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. What is it that you love, love about it? I don't know. I just think there's like this, uh, this, this excitement about, this, I don't know, these kids that's so exciting to them, you know? Yeah, And well, then someone yeah. like Adam comes along who's like completely nuts and amazing and I, I, he just puts them all to shit. Do you think he's cool. going to win, Adam Lambert? I kind of do. I kind of do. So does that one person. That one person. I... <laughs> controversy because there's some photos of him that yes. came out he was kissing another guy what I love about Adam is he directly went after the controversy with me you know what I have nothing to hide I am who I am and, and this is about singing yeah nothing else exactly. yeah I'm an entertainer it doesn't change anything yeah but you kind of like have to know that type of stuff is gonna get out there right yeah I've never been shy about anything yeah so <laughs> A truth to themselves. Somebody who has guts. And, I mean, he said it himself. Country music is not his thing. You will never hear him sing a country tune. Yeah, absolutely. But he made it his own. I mean, I, did you work with him this week? I did. I worked with him this week, and I'm, I've worked with him every week this, um, since the show started. And wow. I think he's he's incredible. He's insane. And I, my favorite was watching Love Randy him. Travis insane watch him. That was like incredible. Oh, I bet Randy was, like footage. went and cried in the closet after this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, anyway. but I think that Adam is a star. Period. He is a freaking superstar. Whether you like him or whether you hate him, you're talking about him. How do you really feel? That's how I feel. <laughs> okay. no, he's a very polarizing um, figure. Yeah. When you're working with him, though, are you like, Adam, what the heck are you doing to the song? Like, what are you doing? Or no, are you I just mean, like, I, go I, there? I loved what he did with it. Yeah. I really did. He took a big, huge risk. It paid off with a few of the judges, and it did not pay off with Simon. But I, I love what he did to it. Paid off he made it. He, he made it work and fit into the genre yeah. and, and well, who he was. It just it, it fit into it, the it genre. Just shows did his. his thing. <laughs> it just yeah. shows his maturity as a performer and how yeah. he kind of is at a, like Simon has said, at a different level. He is incredible. He's brilliant. And a yeah. lot of people I know compare the two of you. Yes, well, I, it's actually, I kept hearing that because I'm always, you know, with the kid, I'm a little behind with the TV. So I TV things that I right. really watch. Adam Lambert, and I knew him, Adam. I had seen him, and I had uh, met him a couple times. worked together ever? We've done a couple of the same benefit kind right, of things, right. and I knew, I mean, I'd heard this before, that there's somebody that's clearly been influenced and blah, 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 and I was like, great, and then I heard him, and like, thank God he was talented. Oh, my God. There's nothing worse than somebody saying, somebody, oh, you know what, there's, they remind me, and then they're oh, terrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> so he's so talented, but see, to me, he's somebody who is clearly listening to what he's being told, but he's not compromising himself. Right. Part of the contest back then, like everybody was out of their comfort zone one week. They, the contestants have now found a way to do their, their style. Thing. Hello! They're still doing a disco like when Adam did, you know, If I Can't Have You, and we made it this heart-wrenching ballad. Exactly. You know, he's still doing a, a technically a disco song, but he's changing the style. I think it's fantastic. Well, and that's the whole point of finding your voice as right, an artist. Right, right. Is that you can sing, if you take a piece of music, and you turn it into something that expresses your point of view on the music. That's what music is. We are storytellers. Right. That's it. We're right. storytellers. That doesn't mean that I've got to all of a sudden assume a country accent and a twang. Can you imagine? That's right. No. <laughs> you take the R. <laughs> oh, dear.
years. I googled Sam Harris, Adam Lambert. There's literally tens of thousands of blogs about about Sam about Harris. This, really? Yeah. Well, here's the thing: Which is, is a that kind of flattering it's to me. very flattering. And the thing about the both of you is that you, but you, neither of you have a break in your voice. That's what I mean. That's the similarity what? for me. <laughs> what break? <laughs> what? No, but seriously, that's what that's what the similarity I find with both of you is that there's no break. There's no change from nice voice to false. I can tell you, I, Adam and I have a mutual friend, so I've, I've known him for a while before this, before the season started. But I had no idea. I didn't. I knew him, but I didn't know he was a singer at this capacity. I just, I just have to say this one thing. I think that I think that Adam is one of the most unique, probably the most unique contestant the show's ever had. Sure. Yeah. And uh, what he does to these songs every week, weekend, and, and week out, it's true. I mean, like Kara says it. Uh, everybody, all the judges say it. I can't wait to see what he does next. You know, every week. I know. So. He's you so seem like an Adam exciting. fan. Do we have any Adam fans in the audience? Yes. yes. Adam. 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 Who's your favorite? I like Adam too. I'm right behind you. That was to me in a totally different league to everything else we've seen and heard. <laughs> and I think words are unnecessary, but I want to give you a standing ovation. Oh. Let's